Okay. Happy Monday, guys. What do you do when you feel stuck? I don't know about you, but this today, I don't know what's going on with the stars, with the planets, with the moon, with the whatever. But I got to tell you, today has been a very interesting day. I have felt, since I woke up, frustrated, sad, confused. Hello. I have felt defeated. I have felt stuck. And I'm just like, man, what is going on? So I wanted to jump on here and share with you guys some things and get some feedback from you guys. I would love, love, love to hear what do you do when you feel stuck? What do you do when you wake up like me, moody, grumpy, frustrated? I I don't know what is going on with me, but I got to tell you, I don't feel my best. And as I've been going through the day today, I was just like, I was choosing moment from moment to moment. I was choosing how I was feeling. I was choosing what I was focusing on. I was choosing like my temperament and I would be like, okay, I'm going to choose to focus on this. And then boom, something would happen that would take me off my tracks. And I wanted to share this with you because I think sometimes a lot of people think that I'm always so happy and joyful. Um, no, 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 completely not the case. Actually, I was talking to a friend today. I had a, so you guys, I got to tell you something about me. Okay. And, uh, if you don't know, Now you know. I have a team of people that I go to. I don't rely on just myself. Actually, I don't know how you're going to take this, but like I don't I don't trust myself all the time. That doesn't mean that I don't listen to myself. What I mean is whenever I feel like stuck, I think, who can help me? I think, what can I do? Who can I reach out to? What can I listen to? Who can I call? Okay. I don't, I try my hardest not to stay stuck in a situation. Now, doesn't mean I listen completely to what they have to say. I hear it, I evaluate it, and I make my own conclusions. But one of the things that I do know, okay, if you want to write this down and put this in your mind, is that all of us have blind spots. Every single one of us. Every single one of us has blind spots, meaning there are things about you that everybody else can see, that everybody else realizes about you, except for you, okay? Those are kind, those are called blind spots. So all of us have them. So when I am going through something and I've been going through stuff, okay? I I reach out to people that I trust, that I respect, and that I know that they have my, that my, best, their be, my best interest in their mind, whatever. And so this morning, I had a call with somebody at 8.30 this morning, and uh, he like knows about astrology and about all this stuff, and we had a great conversation. He is a forum leader. He is like um, a landmark forum leader. If you guys have heard me talk about it, I love landmark. He reminded me today that I should go back and revisit the forum, which I think I need to. But anywho... And uh, he was going, sharing with me some of the things that I'm dealing with. And I didn't say anything. He was like, you know, right now. And I was like, I was like, I started giggling. He's like, why are you giggling? I'm like, because I have been in like not a good mood. I have my mind has been wandering on not good thoughts. Okay. My mind has been going, thinking about things I don't feel good about that I'm thinking, okay? Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, what is happening with me? I wake up moody, I wake up frustrated, I wake up upset, I wake up not feeling my best, okay? So I'm sharing this with you because here's the thing, we are not victims to how we feel, okay? We feel what we feel because there is a story that we're telling ourselves about what is going on. And that creates that story create certain feelings. But he hit it in the nail. He was like, you are fantasizing. Da, 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 da. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, yes, all of that. And I shared with him, I said, look, I'm just going to be honest with you. I've been like on it these last couple of days. I've been feeling frustrated and from my son to my husband to like 
some dreams that I've had. I'm just, I don't like it. I don't like the state that I have been being in. And so, you know, he gave me some tips and some tools, some things to do to help me like make decisions in my life to help me navigate through what I'm going through. And I started to think about, I'm like, man, you know, how many people, especially men, okay, I know I'm talking to mostly women, but if you are a woman and you have a man in your life, maybe you should send this to them because how many men don't ever talk about anything? They don't talk about what they're going through. They don't talk about what, like what their thoughts are. They just don't talk about it. So what ends up happening is they just feel stuck. And then it starts to build up until it boils out of them, right? And it was funny because my birthday is in December, so I'm a Capricorn. And he was like telling me everything about me. He's like, da da da, you're super hardworking. Everybody else is super lazy. You like like to get things done. You're, anyway, he was going off. And then I don't really know much about that stuff, okay? But then he was like saying how my moon is in Leo, which is like my emotions. Like you're pretty dramatic. I'm like, man, no way. <laughs> he's like, you're pretty dramatic and whatever. And then my rising something is in, um, in Scorpio. And he goes, and that's how people see you. And he goes, so people see you. And that's not, doesn't mean that's how you are, but that's how people see you intense. I'm like, what me? No way. Intense. Um, what else did he say? Uh, that's all I remember. I was like me intense. No way. Anyway. Yeah. But he's like, you actually are very quiet. You're actually are very calm. You're actually like your alone time. And I'm like, yep, that's, yep, that's true. Because I'll tell you, okay, oh, I just finished doing a meditation. I got to tell you because I, that's what I need to do. I need to dance. Janet, you know what? You just gave me a great idea. I need to put some music on because I got to tell you something. I've been on one, okay? I can't even tell you I wake up. And I'm just like, Sandoval, what is going on with you? Okay. And I got to tell you, thank God for my stack. Okay. You guys, this thing that I have with Warrior, me stacking, it's like a digital diary, diary, but it asks you and it prompts you with questions. To, so it helps you understand yourself. It's like going within. It's like a meditation, but not a meditation. Um, cause I always fall asleep. I just got done meditating. I ended up falling asleep. Okay. But that's okay. Um, but anyway, so when I wake up like this, here's what I know. And that is that I need to change my focus. I need to change what I'm thinking. I need to change the story that I'm having in my head, but I'm just going to tell you something. These last couple of days, none of that has worked. Okay. Well, a little bit. My stacking worked, but then I get even more upset because I'm like, oh my gosh, why am I still dealing with this thing? I've been dealing with this for almost 10 years. And then I just get into my head and I'm like, okay, let me do a workout. So then I worked out thinking that was going to make things better. I did lift off and CR7 because you guys know how much I love lift off and CR7. And then after that was done, I was still on something. I'm like, what is going on with me? <laughs> anyway. But and then I had to deal with all these things with the insurance and they're billing me $18,000, which by the way, it's a mistake. So we're going to get to the bottom of it. But, you know, all this stuff is like happening. And I just started thinking, I'm like, you know, I am so grateful that I, yes, MSCR7, I am so grateful that I am open to reach out. I am open to say, I don't have to figure this out alone. I am open to have relationships. And one of the things that he was sharing with me, this guy today, was like, he was saying like, like I don't know what they look at. He's like, one of the lessons that you have in this lifetime is how to have harmonious relationships. And I was like, you know how funny, because I have, with the exception of my husband, <laughs> Okay, because Sergio and I, oh, you know, I should ask why we married each other. Like, how did we marry each other? How, how he, I married him, how he married me. What am I here to teach him? What is he here to teach me? That should, that should be the next question, okay? If any of you guys have an answer for that, let me know. Because let me tell you something. I am a piece of work with him. I get it, okay? I am intense and I'm all of that. But so is he. So anyway, back to the channel. Um, he was, besides with Sergio, I have the most, <laughs> oh, I love it. 
Okay. I love that. You know, yes, Janet, I'm going to start dancing. But I got to tell you, besides my husband, with all the other people in my life, for the most part, okay, I have, like, with all my friends, I have very harmonious relationships with them. Like, I can, he can, they can make me mad in, in one minute, okay? They can make me mad, and in, he even said it. He goes, you get over things real quick. I'm like, yep. I don't hold grudges. If people, something happens, he's like, you're very vocal, you're very expressive, you're very self-expressed. I'm like, absolutely. One of the things I love about me, okay, is that, because um, I love a lot of things, okay, I don't, I, there's a lot of things I need to work on, but one of the things I love about me is that I don't let, I don't hold on to grudges. Like, if you do me wrong, I will confront you, I will share with you what's going on, I will share with you what I'm feeling, I will share with you how you made me feel, and then I let it go. I am not the type of person that holds on to things and then 25,000 million years later, you're like, well, you know, 5,000 million years ago, you did this. And I'm like, what? Are you freaking kidding me? You're really bringing up that shit from like 20,000 years ago? Like, I am not that person, okay? Now, I now know that there's a lot of people that are like that. I don't understand. Like, why would you want to do that? You're only harming yourself. I don't know if you realize that, Yes. Ah, okay. See, that's why you're a badass girl. I don't know if you realize that you are literally, literally poisoning your body. Literally. That's why a lot of people, and I don't care what you think, this is true. Now, this I know for a fact that your emotions manifest in your body. So if you're holding on to grudges and you're like holding on to anger and you're holding on to resentment, it's going to show up in your body eventually, okay? So I don't, I don't hold on to none of that shit. I'm like, you know what? Let, let's just say Janet, okay? Because she's like commenting. I would be like, you know what, Janet? This is what you did. I don't appreciate that you did that. And da 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 that's how you made me feel. And i rather listen carefully. Now, this is not for everybody. I get it. It takes one heck of strength to do, to do this. But I'm going to tell you something about myself. I say this all the time. i rather have... Five minutes of an uncomfortable conversation and rest it than to constantly hold on to these grudges and these feelings and these emotions that serve me no good, that will end up having a disease in my body, all because I didn't want to confront anybody. I was like, how fucking old are we? Like people that don't want to confront or that don't want to like, I don't even know how we got into this fucking subject. But the point is, oh yeah, because I'm, 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 I'm on one. See, you see how I'm, I'm on something, you guys. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm like, I'm going to take her advice. I'm, as soon as I get off this live, I am going to put some um, Mary J. Blige. I'm going to put some music and I'm going to dance. And I'm just going to move my body and move all this shit that I have been feeling for the past couple of days. I'm like, oh, what moon and planet are making me go crazy? It's not even my son this time, okay? But um, anyway, but yeah, I just let it go. I really let it go. So I invite you to start thinking about, like, was my dad calling? What do you do? I'll call him back. What do you do when you're feeling stuck? And you feel like you're not able to like whatever. What do you do? Okay. And thank you guys for sending me the messages you did on my story. I really appreciate it because I was like, I need some ideas. What do I need to do? Okay. Um, and somebody said, get a massage. I was like, oh, yes, that's what I need to do. I need to get a Reiki massage or something. Get all this shit out that I'm dealing with. Okay. I don't even know where it's coming from. Well, I kind of do. But anyway. Actually, we always know where it's coming from. We just choose to ignore it. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys, you don't have to do it alone. You never have to feel like you have to have it all figured out. You never have to feel like you need to know everything. Just ask yourself, like, who can I reach out to? Who can I call? Who can support me with this, right? And make up your own conclusions. But sometimes, like I said in the beginning of this live, like you have blind spots. We all do. Okay, we all have blind spots, all have things that everybody else knows about you, except for you, all of us, okay? 
And so that's why I have like a team of people that I call. Like I'm feeling a certain way. I'm like, hmm, I know exactly who to call. I'm feeling another way. Hmm, I know exactly who to call. And I listen and I make up my own conclusion. Okay. But you know, I got to tell you the biggest thing that I have really realized is that me doing the stack and talking to God and having a communion with God every single morning has been such a life changer. And all he keeps telling me is, focus on you, Carla. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about her. Well, actually, it's never her. It's always about the hymns. It's always about Sergio and Sebastian. <laughs> right? They say the people in your life are the ones that challenge you the most. So it's always about those two. And so I keep hearing him say, don't worry about them. I got them. You worry about you. You take care of you. You keep working on you. I got them. And uh, it's been a little hard. I'm like, okay, I need to trust. I need to let go. I need to trust. I need to let go. It sounds easier than done. But nevertheless, you guys, you know, I just want to remind you, especially if you're a woman on here, especially if you're a mom, especially if you're an entrepreneur mom, if you're a married woman with a child and running a business, you are living, in my humble opinion, one of the toughest formulas. You are operating in one of the toughest formulas because if you don't produce, you don't eat. You don't have a paycheck. You don't have a steady paycheck, right? You got to make things happen. You got to go hunt. And then you got to turn on being a mom and being feminine and being and then you got to go hunt. And then you got to come home and be a feminine. And da, 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 da. It's not easy. Okay. And to figure that out has taken me and I'm still working on it. Okay. But it's taken me years to acknowledge. Okay. Now time to switch it off. Okay. Time to switch it on. Because I got to tell you when I was on, I was on. And then I was bringing that home and I'm like battling with Sergio. Right. And then I was like, okay, well, that's not going to work. So I got to be more womanly, more feminine, more sweet. And then I went to the other extreme. I was like, too nice, too this, too that. I'm like, ay, Dios mío. Like, how do we do this, right? And uh, I don't think it's ever figured out, but we just keep working on it. We keep working on it. We keep working on it. So, you know, that's why I keep saying, you know, this year, it's we got to wake up and unleash. Wake up and unleash that woman we have inside of us. Wake up and unleash all the things that we know that we're capable of, but we keep holding ourselves back for because of X, Y, Z reason, right? And that's the, that's the theme of this year, 2024, not only with my business, but like with my coaching, like that is the thing that we're going to be doing is like coaching women on how to tap into, okay, that internal power that we know we have and wake up and unleash it to a powerful life. So if I can support you with any of that, send me a DM. Okay, we're going to start a focus group. Send me a DM and, um, you know, and let's wake up that woman that I know that you know you have inside of you. But maybe you're afraid, you don't know how, something of that sort. You don't know how to manage it. So if there's anything I can do to support you, send me a DM, right? And inside that coaching program, we're going to be having the software of the stack so that you can, like, you know, talk to and commune with God and talk to commune with yourself, work through things with yourself for yourself. And, um, it's going to be all included. So I'm really excited. We're going to launch that in February. I'm really excited about that. And, um, just remember you're never, you never have to do anything alone. All you have to do is ask yourself this question is who can I reach out to? Who can help me? Who has been through this before? You know, who can I, what resource is available for me? And when you ask those questions, the brain will start to work, okay? So anything I can do to support you, send me a DM. Let's get you in part of our focus group. And uh, let's rock this 2024. Have a blessed day.